Scientists say it's the technology that could revolutionise computing. It's called quantum computing, and for years companies have been vying to build a fully operational quantum computer which could process information much faster than today's most powerful supercomputers. Now scientists at Microsoft say they're on the verge of a major breakthrough. Our technology correspondent Rory Kethlin jones reports. Copenhagen, and it's pretty cold outside. But inside a university lab, there's a place that's even colder. Well, if you look right up here on this gauge, you'll see that the inside of that refrigerator is sitting at three hundredths of a degree above absolute zero. That's a hundred times colder than deep space. This may be the coldest place in the universe. And this is why embedded in this chip is a qubit, the building block for the computer of the future, which will only work under these extreme conditions. Microsoft is working with scientists here and around the world to build a quantum computer. They're confident they're about to make a major breakthrough. If they succeed, there's a huge prize. Quantum really represents a giant leap forward from today's technology. And we can begin to solve problems that would take us today more than the lifetime of the universe to solve in seconds, hours or days. So how does a quantum computer work? Drill down into a conventional computer and you'll find the bit, the basic unit of information, which is either a zero or a one. Think of it as a switch which is either on or off. But at the heart of a quantum computer is the qubit. And the magic here is that it can be both one and zero at the same time. The switch can be both on and off. This supercharges any computer program, making impossible problems easy to solve. We could find answers to climate change, make rapid progress in artificial intelligence and break encryption. Secure codes would be simple to crack. First though, there are huge challenges in creating qubits stable enough to be useful in a commercial quantum computer. Microsoft thinks it's got a unique way of doing that. By making a better qubit to begin with, you'll need fewer of them to build the full quantum processor. But there's stiff competition. Google, IBM and scientists in labs like this one in London are all making breakthroughs. And so far, they've made faster progress. So Microsoft is starting further behind. They're still trying to demonstrate a single qubit. But their approach is unique. Its qubits may be much better protected against errors. So if they get their one qubit to work, they could leapfrog these other approaches quite quickly. Back in Copenhagen, they're confident they're on the verge of a breakthrough which will lead to a commercial quantum computer within five years. If that's true, and it's a big if, the world will change in all sorts of ways. Rory Catherine-Jones, BBC News, 